A lot of other people across the sports media landscape talked this week about something we here at Garbage Time have been talking about for weeks. It's an issue that's been an issue for quite some time, and it seems everyone else is just starting to catch on, which is a little frustrating. You know what I'm talking about. Roll the tape. Major breaking NFL news. Yes. We have football players weighing in on whether a hot dog is a sandwich. This is serious. Pretty serious. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is it a hot dog or is it a sandwich? It's a philosophical question. I can't believe that the sum of our life's work has led to this. No, no it's, it's a hot dog. Yes. It has the same name whether it's on a bun or not. I'm going to grill you here. Sandwich or not a sandwich? No, it's a hot dog. I mean, you got bread and meat. A hot dog is not a sandwich. How did this even become a thing? I'll tell you how it became a thing, Mr. Van Pelt, because the internet did it years ago and have been doing it for a while. I did this months ago. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Find a new thing to obsess about, internet. To be clear, that clip is not even as old as it looks. This show has just caused me to age 10 years in about one. But apparently this is how it works now in sports media. You take something that has been on the internet for a while and you put it on TV, which, to be clear, I'm okay with. That's how I got this job. Um, I don't have a huge problem with it. It's harmless enough with silly stuff like hot dogs and sandwiches, but what does worry me is when it starts to look like this repurposing of old internet content is crossing over into the actual news. It's very, very clear that the Dallas Cowboys weren't the only team interested in talking to Greg Hardy and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers told me today that they wanted to talk to Hardy and interview him about his Carolina story. Hardy chose not to and signed with Dallas. Peter, Peter, the story isn't new, Peter. This article was published on ESPN.com back in March, Peter, March. And it says that the Bucks were interested in signing Hardy but then decided against it because they didn't feel good about it, Peter. And that was before Hardy signed with the Cowboys. So, Peter, be honest with me. When you say you talked to a guy yesterday and he told you this information, did you mean you talked to Google? <laughs> like you Googled it, and then you pretended you talked to a guy? You can't do that, Peter. Not with real actual news. But it is fair game with mindless internet debates. And we have tons of those. So, internet, let's help Peter King out with his segment for next week's Sunday Night Football. Tweet him your favorite internet question, like, I don't know, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? <laughs> Using the hashtag PeterKingSNF. Who knows, maybe we'll finally find out who would win in a fight between one horse-sized duck and a hundred duck-sized horses.